Hey, what's going on, fellas? How are we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're looking at some base running stuff. We've got the Yankees playing the Twins. We've got Judge at the plate and Gardner at first. Gardner's going to take off running here. Judge is going to put the ball in play. Gardner's going to go first to third right there pretty easily. Okay? What I want to talk about is peeking in when running. So you probably know about peeking in on hit and runs, right? So you take off, take two, three hard steps. You're going to peek in over your left shoulder to see if the ball is put in play so that you can read the ball and react. Um, but for me, what I teach our players is anytime we're running, anytime we're stealing, Anytime we're going in a hit and run, we're always peeking in no matter what for a couple of reasons. For one, just like in a hit and run, we want to see if the ball is put in play. Okay, If the ball is put in play, first of all, if it's hit in the air and we don't peek in, we may continue to go and not get back in time, right? get doubled off. But also, if we peek in and see the ball is hit, if the ball is hit into a gap, now we can score easy, right? The ball's hit for a single here. I can easily move up to third base. So what happens a lot when guys aren't peeking in or don't peek in is they're stealing, they put their head down, the ball's hit, and the ball's hit for a single just like this. But the fielder or the, the base runner all of a sudden sees people start moving around, so he knows the ball's put in play. So he usually stops. And he tries to look up and try to find the ball. Oh, where's the ball? Where is it? And by that time, when you completely stop, you can't move up to the next base, right? If the ball's smashing the gap, you get about right here. All of a sudden, you hear people start yelling. You know, oh, the ball's hit. I stop and I look around. I start looking all over the field. I try to figure out, you know, by watching the outfielders run, where's the ball going? Now I got to pick up the ball and then say, oh, man, that ball's over their heads. And then he gets going again. Well, now I'm only go, able to go first to third instead of being able to score. So if I just simply peek in, I can find the ball, right? And it doesn't slow me down. So, again, you're not turning your body or anything. You're just peeking quickly in, all right? But I think it's really, really important to do, whether it's a straight steal or a hit and run, because I see so many times this happen where, Either guys don't see the ball hit in the air and they get doubled off, or the ball's hit and then all of a sudden they stop and they're not able to move up to the next base. You know, they only go first to second instead of first to third. They only go first to third instead of first to home just because they don't want to peak. All right, so really simple thing. Um, I know there's going to be a, a decent amount of people that probably say that it's going to slow you down too much, but in my experience, it doesn't slow you down. And there's just too many times I see guys not getting good reads and getting doubled off when all it took was a simple quick peek. All right, so it's just a couple hard steps. So one, two, three, peek in. If the ball's not put in play, put your head back at second base and get in there and slide in. The ball is hit put in play. Now I know exactly where the ball is. I never break stride, and I just move up. All right, so let me know if you guys have any questions on that. Be interested to hear uh, if you guys are taught to do this on just hit and runs or on steals also. I know a lot of it seems to be a lot of people either aren't taught to do it on steals or just don't do it. So let me know what you guys are taught and what you do. Uh, comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, give us the video. Uh, give the video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. Share it with all your friends. Check out our Instagram, Antonelli Baseball, Twitter feed, man at Antonelli 9. We're posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got. Thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. Take care, and we'll talk to you later.